is king in the oh. ring. I feel super less coming at you like a bullet in a pack. Ooh, I feel super less if you have to bring it on me to back you. I feel super less You cannot ask for more. The house of pain has been destroyed. The ages, Diamond, four years older, weights are the same, height the same. Proceeds is the kicker. Blood Diamond uses the hands as well as the kicks. And I think Eads will have to strengthen the knee department. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is our middleweight super fight of the evening. It is scheduled for three three-minute rounds of action. It is sponsored by Flava. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing white trunks with silver trim. Representing ETK in the North Shore. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Chris Cobra Eats! <laughs> and his opponent fighting out of the red corner, enters the ring wearing blue trunks. Representing City Kickboxing in Auckland. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Blood Diamond! Three three minute rounds with the bell rings, referee in charge is the Rebel John Conway. All right, fighters, come in. All right, guys, first four, you both must be able to protect yourselves at all times. You listen to my instructions, obey my instructions when I call break. Step away from each other, and then I'll say fight. We'll fight no elbows. Both understand? King of the ring rules. Shake them up. Best of luck. Back in your corner. Out of the bell. Once again, we go to super fight rules. Three by three. The three knockdown rule is in effect. There will not be an extension round in the event of a draw. And a big opportunity for Chris Eads against the very experienced Blood Diamond. Round one. Diamond immediately going into the south force stance. Eads going with the kicks immediately. Diamond going with a spinning hook kick. It's pretty clear. Blood Diamond wanting to use the hands. Eads wanting to use those kicks. He's very deep with that left leg in particular. He can throw it low and he can throw it high. And there we saw straight away, right on cue. Question mark kick. Good check too. Left hand there from Blood Diamond. That was a slapping kick from Eads. If he'd rolled it over, it could have been a different story. He's there from Blood Diamond. He's pressing forward with the hands. Taking needs to be very cautious of dropping the hands there. Exchange of knees. He's landing clean kicks to the lead thigh. Blood Diamond looking for the southpaw left hand. Again, a heavy thigh kick. Doubling up on the kicks leads. Blood Diamond, he's not traditionally a southpaw fighter. So this is unusual for him. Taking a lot of kicks from the Kyokushin fighter. Nice straight left there. Catches the kick, delivers the single techniques, and let's go. Halfway through this, the first round, that left hand finding a home. Diamond though needing to throw the right hook. Eads doing very well. Educated left leg of his. Slapping body shot. Another left hand from Diamond. Eats that kick that went low around about the groin region. That's the third kick up high. Eads getting confident now. Coming on with combinations. Diamond looking very awkward from the southpaw stance. Not sure why he's persisting with it. Body shots there from Eads and the head kick once again. He's at, he's looking very good. Blood Diamond though, he just doesn't have the defensive patterns from the southpaw stance. It's not really where he's natural. Look at the left hand, left kick to the body there. He's tie style with the teeth. The knee went into the elbows. He 
Eads really pumping on those combinations. Good work, Monty. Oh, some great work by Chris Eads. Really finishing this round strong. You mentioned that Bud Diamond's fighting in south southpaw position. Easy when you're attacking, but you go back to your instinctive moves when you're defending. Well, I'd have to say that's a dominant round for Chris Eads. He landed a number of kicks glancing or clean up high. Very clean now, with his uh, leg kicks and great point. handiwork to the body as well. Yeah. Do you look like you're winning? I want you to look like you're winning, okay? You're doing outstanding. I couldn't I couldn't doubt anything that you're doing. I keep this you at the end. Okay, multiple. I don't know leg kick if you feel comfortable. Well, you see that we saw Blood Diamond coming forward in the South Pole stance. Hadn't seen a lot of kicks besides that spinning back kick then. And there's another another high kick there. But it was Jamie here to finish the round with the, the bigger blows. And they were to the body. A nice combination here on the ropes. Look at that. One, two, three, and then finish back down. On that the left leg of his particularly deadly. Now we see Blood Diamond coming forward, working the left hand to the body. That left kick goes up high. Blood Diamond pressuring, doesn't want to let this kid get any further ahead. And Eads just really found a home with his left hand, throwing the knee. There's a left hook over the top. The young man, well, he's certainly coming into his own. He's up against a very experienced fighter. Needs a little bit of bleeding from the nose. Another clashing leg kick and another one. Diamond's lead leg. He's just not checking. He's not kicking as he normally does either. Knees are heavily strapped. There's an overhand right there. And the lead hand. Handiwork a little better now from Diamond. Needs Kyokushin style now starting to cut in. Diamond starting to... Use the left hand to the body, but still, I think this is a round for Eads. Eugene Barriman talking to him in the corner. Good sportsmanship there from Eads as uh, Blood Diamond awkwardly went into the ropes. Eads just putting on a clinic at this point, just too clean. The kicks are landing, the punches are landing. Such an experienced fighter, Blood Diamond, just really struggling to find any sort of rhythm. He's landed a few of those straight punches, but that's about it. His kicks have been noticeably absent. Another head kick there from Eads. It's just clinical, technical stuff. And again, Eads with that tie style knee. Caught him off balance there. Now Diamond's starting to throw some kicks for the first time. He needs to be very cautious when he turns his back there. He'll eat another knee. 19 seconds to go. Body shot there. Tried the head kick, but Eads was better and quicker with the reply. Another body shot to the liver from Eads. Brutal work from Eads. It's just really clinicking. A far more experienced fighter. Another dominant round for Chris Eads. Well, if you're Chris Eads, you've got to be excited. You've got to be excited because you're one round away from getting a huge scalp when it comes to kickboxing. Blood Diamond, not looking like himself, but still Chris Eads. Jeez, he's got opportunity in front of him right now. One round remaining.
fucking career is about this next three fucking minutes. I need you to remember everything you've ever done in martial arts, every pain, every training you don't want to be in. Well, plenty of invective in the corner, Greg Nesbitt. He's animated. Hashtag excited much. Well, this is live TV. This is King in the Ring 92, super fight. Blood Diamond, he is dramatically behind. He needs a knockout to win and an eight count to take it to a draw. And Chris Eads has looked absolutely imperious throughout. Let's see if he can, uh, and again, he needs to be cautious. Every time he gets that arm over, Eads can deliver the knee. Awkward, unorthodox shot from Blood Diamond. Blood Diamond now starting to use his kicks to a little more effect. Still very sloppy. Each now, he's put on a clinic so far. Let's see whether he can sustain the pressure. He's starting to look a little tired now. Although that's another great kick from Eads, landing two to one at this point. Eads oh, staying very measured, isn't he? Punch. He needs to throw bombs. He's staying very measured as Eads, very controlled, composed. He realises there's a big scalp at the end of this round if he can withstand the next minute 50. Big right hand there from Blood Diamond. He landed the head kick to follow it up. Now the big knee to the body. Chris Eads sucking in the big ones. Come back with that leg cracking thigh kick. He's on the back foot now. Now the pressure comes on. And he needs to pull something out of the bag. He needs a couple of rabbits out of the hat. Eads with those lead leg front kicks. He's setting up a right hand there. Diamond with the side kick. But he needs an eight count at the very least. He's keeping him at bay. Final minute in this fight. Diamond's winning the round, but he's well behind in the fight. He's with that lead leg front kick. 50 seconds to go on the verge of an upset. Chris Eads. Diamond's just not, just not sweeping that kick away. It's pretty basic. There's the overhand right. Overhand right landed. 30 seconds to go. He's looking very tired, but he's ahead in this fight. He just needs to stay on his feet. 20 seconds to go in the round. Chris Eads under pressure. 15 seconds, time is ticking away. Well, I think it's too late. I think a knee just went narrowly close there. Oh, rolling thunder from Blood Diamond. Too little, too late. It was spectacular. But Chris Eads should take that victory two rounds to one. And a strangely mute performance from Blood Diamond. But let's not take anything away from Chris Eads, who looked simply superb throughout the first two rounds. A decision, and I think it should be a pretty easy one. Blood Diamond, he seems pretty happy to get through the bout. Fighters to the center ring, please. Well, we're just waiting here.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision, where we find a split decision winner. Your winner, fighting out of the blue corner! Wow, that Chris was predictable. To mine, it wasn't a split.